Tensions between Russia and Ukraine are incredibly high at the moment, and many people are saying you need to flood to gold as it's a safe haven during wars. In this video, I go through a detailed analysis of historical key wars and how actually gold's relationship in these times is not as clear as you think. So stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how gold performs during wars. So to begin, I've got a list of wars here. I chose the major ones that we all know of, World War I, World War II, the Vietnam War, the Afghanistan War and the Iraq War, all being quite recent ones. If this conflict between Russia and Ukraine escalates and the West gets involved and it turns into a larger scale war, well, what would it look like for the price of gold? So here I've got a spreadsheet which I have mapped out all of these wars mentioned, including the start date of the war, one year, the gold price one year prior to the beginning of the war, the gold price at the peak, the peak gold price during the war, the gold price at the end of the war and the gold price one year after the war. So to start the analysis quite simply, World War I, the gold price was pretty much the same one year prior to the war as, as the start of the war. It then did go up slightly from 500 to 550 and that's inflation adjusted uh, during the war. And then at the end of the war, it was lower than even one year prior to the war. And one year after the war, it was even lower. So the trend was at a slight peak and then as the war was ending and even after the war ended, um, it went lower and lower. Um, there are other macroeconomic factors at play. So 1914, 1918, there was a gold standard, but I'm not including these in this data. It's simply looking at the price of gold uh, before, during and after uh, major wars. Second World War it started one year prior at 700. It was the same at the start of the war. It was even the same at the peak of the war. And then it ended much lower and continued that lower trend after the war. The Vietnam War, it was again the same one year prior to, as to the start. It then did go up significantly. So this is the first war where actually gold increased significantly. And this, again, could be tied to the macroeconomic factors of it, the gold standard being removed in 1971. But I'm not, I'm not analysing that in this video. So it does go up, you know, three times and remains higher than the, uh, prior to the war, even a year after, but only about double. So it does peak at about three times and it does drop after the war. So then you've got Iraq and Afghanistan, they're about the same period. Afghanistan starts in 2001, Iraq 2003, and you can see it does go up significantly during these wars as well. So now the question is, well, what will happen if this Ukraine tension between Russia and Ukraine turns into a full-fledged war between the West and Russia? So let's say that the war official start date is now, you know, February, March 2022. The current price of gold is about $1,900 a year ago, it was about 1850. So if it's followed the more recent war trends where we haven't been on a gold standard, it does look like gold could triple in price um, during the peak of the war on the basis that there's large scale printing of money to meet the war costs. Um, so you'd be looking at maybe $6,000 in gold. End price of the war, it'd be about the same and then it would go downhill from there, but still higher than pre-war. That's if it follows the recent trends. However, if it followed the major world wars, World War One and Two, we could be looking at no real change in the price of gold in the short to medium term. And actually, at the end of the war, there may be a sell-off in gold and lower prices at the end. The major point to this video is that there's no clear correlation in wars. Perhaps if you overlaid macroeconomic monetary policy into this, or you remove the gold standard, and then map it out, it may seem clearer that actually, yes, there is a higher price of gold because of the debasement of money in the printing, therefore lowering the value of money, which there's been a lot of already. So if the US government, the UK, and even Russia started printing a lot of currency to meet the war costs, then yes, potentially there will be a higher price of gold. But this Ukraine crisis is not new, it's just that tensions are increasing recently. Here's a video from the 3rd of March 2014 where CNN say, gold soars as Ukraine crisis escalates. Well, that's exactly what's happening right now. I'm seeing a lot of videos where a lot of, you know, financial people, you know, commentators and uh, CNN news sources are saying gold soaring because of this crisis. Well, that's not true. This Ukraine crisis is not new. It's been around for, you know, this is 2014. It's now 2022. It's over 10 years. It's not a new crisis. It's well known. Tensions, tensions are escalating. But there's no real reason as to why this war or conflict would push up the price of gold at this current stage unless there was mass scale printing of money and devaluation of major currencies such as the dollar and the pound. So that really is the short, quick analysis of what will happen to the price of gold in a war. 
Long story short, unless there is massive monetary devaluation through the printing of currency to a larger scale than we've seen, then it's likely it won't change too much. Now, what I will show you is gold prices actually did peak in 2020 uh, because of coronavirus, and there's a lot of printing of money there. I'll try to zoom in here. Over 2,100 an ounce. And so that was because of the devaluation of currency. People were pouring into gold as a safe haven because they were worried about the outcome of the coronavirus pandemic. There could be a similar reaction in the markets if they think there's going to be printing of money to meet the demands of the war. And we could see a similar boost in the price of gold in the short to medium term. Nobody really knows, but there is no clear indication as to any correlation between the price of gold and tensions and war wars going on globally. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just a quick video, just currently addressing the current climate of investing in gold. Don't rush to invest in, always you know, average in, have a long-term investment strategy. And I want to be clear, I do think the long-term potential of gold and silver is a lot higher because of the macroeconomic factors of the devaluation of currency. But I don't think this current tension uh, between Russia and Ukraine will impact the price of gold too much unless there is a massive increase in spending um, by the US and the UK and further devaluation of the currency because of this war. So thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, I would uh, be super grateful if you could subscribe, leave a comment and a like. It helps the YouTube algorithm push this video up. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.